Right, if you're considering buying a new driver in 2023, then I suggest you tune into this video to the very end because I've got five very interesting drivers. You can see their head covers, but they're very interesting models and they are my top five forgiving drivers of 2023. Right, so I've got five drivers. There is no particular order because quite frankly, I can't really separate these five and I'm gonna tell you exactly why I can't separate them very, very shortly. I'm gonna kick things off with a driver that I've only tested in recent weeks. It's from the Par Cal Callaway Paradigm lineup, but is their X model, it's the Draw Bias, and it's a real interesting product that I think is really forgiving and really appealing to a lot of average golfers. It's solid. Once again, using the Paradigm X, just no movement in the ball flight whatsoever. Again, another straight drive, which I just find really odd. It negates my fade, and that's why this is well and truly deserves its place on this list. Decent start with Paradigm, and next up is, uh, well, this ain't gonna miss off anybody's top five list this year. It's the Ping G430, it is their Max. It just ticks every box, to be honest with you. It looks really good, sound is much improved, and I think this, again, is, without doubt, one of the most forgiving drivers that Ping has ever produced. It probably takes over that mantle from the G400 Max. Again, much higher ball flight with the Ping than off any other driver that I've hit. Real concentration on getting that ball airborne. That weight at the back, it's a big weight from memory. It's 25, is it? 26 grams, but it clearly helps launch the ball considerably higher than the other drivers, which is obviously going to be beneficial to many average golfers who need that help and assistance, particularly maybe slower swing speeds that don't generate that club head speed. So again, another good reason as to why this G430 deserves its place in the list. Right, loving what we've seen so far, and it's time to move on to a Srixon product, which has never featured in any of my top fives in terms of drivers, fairways, or hybrids for that matter, but things change considerably with this ZX5. Just leaked out a bit there with the Strixon driver making its way over to that right hand side. Again, another club with a really high launching ball flight, very similar to that at a Ping G430. A lot of the characteristics in this ZX5 driver are like the G430 in that it sounds the same as well. I've already mentioned much improved in terms of that G430 sound, but they're still a lot harsher than that of the Paradigm, and they're the kind of things that are gonna separate your decision-making process when you're choosing these things, because they're all top dollar, so there's gonna be small little nuances that are gonna sway you one way or the other. The big thing that the ZX5 has in its favor is it's probably in the region of 100 pounds less than every other model that you see on this list and it performs equally as well, in my opinion. Right, next up is a very new addition to this list, and a product that's only just hit the market in terms of PXG's new releases of Gen 6. This driver was not expected to be in this list, because to be quite honest with you, forgiveness is off the charts with this thing, and I can't believe the job they have done. I can't go without mentioning their head cover game is just far and beyond what anybody else is doing right now. But why is it in my top five forgiving? That's what you all really want to know. That's solid. Again, high launching ball, bit of wind off the left hand side. Just a slight bit of cut in it. Real interesting and perhaps unique sound that comes off the PXG Gen 6 driver. It really is a mix of everything that we've looked at so far. So there's a sort of fast sound if you like it certainly feels uh, as though, or sounds like that ball is firing out there but it's also not too loud and explosive either really like the way that sounds more about the way this looks at a dress but again a real interesting introduction this year into pxg's lineup this thing's going to be a real interesting one moving forward and how many people get their hands on this and start to compare it to the others that are in the bag because I've got a feeling this is probably the best driver 
that PXG have ever brought to market. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf mega store, bringing you the hottest deals in golf, and of course, the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below, and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Now, it's easy to suggest that you could quite possibly have put this list together yourselves in that we've got five premium brands and quite obviously five market leaders and top five forgiving drivers. But what I would say is this list very much comprises of five products within those brands that surprised me a little bit. So Paradigm X was a real shock for me. And this is another one that falls into that category. Yes, it's tailor-made stealth. It's from their standard headline up, but it is in fact their HD model. And trust me, this thing is super forgiving. And that is absolutely solid. I mean, for me, this is the club head that has my uh, shaft in, so the one that really I am best suited towards, if you like, in terms of custom fit perspective. But this HD model from Stealth has been a real surprise for me, and perhaps the kind of hidden gem within the Stealth lineup. I've not heard a great deal of noise made about this thing in a recent video. I've suggested it should make its way into Rory's bag because this thing is super forgiving. It's got a great ball flight, and again, very much like the Paradigm X, it negates my left to right and very much hits a number of straight shots that I've played with it so far. Huge amount of weight distributed into the back end, 30 grams. I don't think I've ever seen a drive with so much play centrally. And then again, weighting towards that heel area, which assists in that uh, HD draw bias style head. So again, we've got five drivers that perform incredibly well they're all priced incredibly high the thing is you've got to look at is what is it that particularly suits your game or perhaps even your eye and we'll have a quick talk about that right this time around it's another five shots but i just want to talk about them aesthetically because there are big differences there kick off again with the paradigm x i am not a lover of this head shape at all and it's been real difficult for me, but the performance of it has made me overcome the looks. And it's quite possibly near the top of my list if I was to sort out a top five because of that performance benefits. But yeah, it's just an odd shape, not a great lover of the colouring. And there is, if I'm being honest with you, a little bit more offset visible on this club than perhaps some of the others. Um, but like I said, performance has meant that I can't ignore it. Right, let's see how we get on with this one. Well, look at that. I mean, that's got... The interesting bit with that for me, that was a big cut swing. The ball has moved from left to right. The wind is howling behind my back off the left, and that ball is still fighting to stay straight. I cannot believe you... Trust me, with a normal headed driver and even with a standard paradigm, that ball is moving, in my opinion, another 20, 30 yards to the right hand side. That is an incredible job of keeping that ball straight. So that's where the draw bias comes in, but that forgiveness element again, interesting to see where I got that off the club face. Wasn't the best of shots. Still in a real good position down the fairway. Right, next up, Ping G430. Very different in terms of looks from any of the others, mainly because of the crown with so much going on. Said before, wish turbulators disappear. They're slightly distracting from my, in my opinion, uh, but the matte crown finish, really good. So aesthetically pleasing. Let's try another one with the G430. And it can't be unsaid about just how much better this thing now sounds absolutely solid again really pleased with the kind of uh, everything this g430 does um, just wherever i have gotten this off of the club face that suggests it came off the middle the ball just fires out there it really is super impressive again another super high ball flight that you see from the Strix and again just drifting out on that wind out to the right hand side but it felt really hot off the club face like I said it is slightly louder than both the Stealth the Paradigm and the PXG driver these are very much more in line with the G430 in terms of sound from aesthetics point of view 
probably the cleanest crown that matte finish very traditional in its shaping really easy on my eye and from a looks perspective of the dress probably one of my favorites out of this five it's absolutely solid and the one thing that this driver is doing this gen 6 pxg really seems again super fast off the club face ball flight is really strong um, that's got a long way trust me that's by far the longest drive i've hit but again maybe the best swing but we're talking about aesthetics and pxg to me have done an incredibly good job at the address position matt crown that appeals to me not to everybody and i understand that but again what they've done in the shaping the profile and the little accents of the color the change in the crown in terms of that sort of uh, checkered element if you like that separates the front to back the cross that marks the center of the club face all do an extremely good job of making this a really appealing club head at address and then it hits the ball like that or at least i did with it anyway once again just a towering ball flight so so impressed with what this thing does and again as you can see that ball just doesn't move what i would normally expect to see is definitely with my swing is a spin of a ball moving if there's only just an element of it moving from left to right i'm not getting any if anything that draw bias is helping me move the ball a tad to the left so right to left but really it's just negating that spin and giving very much a neutral ball flight maybe i should have been considering draw bias drivers for quite some time obviously a bit of a fool right so there you have it my top five forgiving drivers of 2023 that i have personally tried and that's worth mentioning because i've not tried the titleist nor the cobra lineups because i don't get access to their products so before you post comments about that that is the reason why the second point to mention i have pushed price aside these are not the cheapest drivers on the market they are what i consider to be the most forgiving and i understand everybody or a lot of people will have an issue with the price of these drivers but we just test products on their merits here on this channel and then five drivers to me are all super forgiving and i think is a uh, if that's what you're looking for forgiveness maybe a little bit of help in terms of draw bias in a number of those clubs that we've looked at as well then i think they're certainly worth giving a try as ever that's just my opinion the key to all this is is getting custom fit and finding the right shaft and head combination for you personally and there are so many options out there right now in terms of those combinations that uh, you really do need to make sure you give custom fit a try if you don't do that already right as ever thank you for watching um, maybe what i'd like to see from you is what is your top five in terms of 2023 let me know in the comment section down below and although it's a sunny day up here at hollywell golf club it's absolutely baltic so i'm going in to warm my hands and i'll see you tomorrow night